Hello, this is John Bohan of Baseball We Love. In this segment, we'll be showcasing the Division I College Pitchers of the Week for the period of April 3rd, 2017 through April 9th, except for the SWAC and the America East, America East, which are a day off. And as always, apologies for any mispronunciations. Uh, the American East, America East Conference selected Justin Courtney of the Maine Black Bears and Andrew Ryan of the UMass Lowell River Hawks. Junior right-hander Courtney picked up the win in a one-to-nothing victory over Hartford with eight innings pitched. He gave up two hits, no hard runs, two walks, and he struck out five. And junior right-hander Ryan picked up the win in a four-to-nothing victory over Albany with eight innings pitched. He gave up three hits, no hard runs, a walk, and he struck out eight. The American Athletic Conference selected Mason Fioli of the Yukon Huskies. The freshman left-hander picked up the win in a 4-0 victory over Memphis with eight innings pitched. He gave up four hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out five. The Atlantic 10 Conference selected Sean Thompson of the Virginia Commonwealth Rams. The junior right-hander picked up the win in an 8-0 victory over Massachusetts. With seven innings pitched, he gave up two hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out four. He'd also earned the award in the opening week and week six. The Atlantic Coast Conference selected two players, uh, Charlie Barnes of the Clemson Tigers and Parker Dunshee of the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Junior left-hander Barnes picked up the win in a 12-1 victory over Virginia Tech. With seven and two thirds innings pitched, to give up four hits, one earned run, two walks, and he struck out 11. And senior right hander Dunshee picked up the win in a two to one victory over second ranked Louisville. With seven innings pitched, to give up five hits, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out six. The Atlantic Sun Conference selected Logan Gilbert of the Stetson Hatters. The sophomore right-hander picked up the win in a complete game, one to nothing shutout against number nine ranked Florida Gulf Coast. He went nine innings pitched, giving up two hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck up 18. The performance did garner national attention. The Big Ten Conference selected Jake Hoensey of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. The junior right-hander picked up the win in a three to one victory over Maryland with eight and one-third innings pitched. He gave up three hits, one earned run, two walks, and he struck out eight. The Big 12 Conference selected Michael Grove of the West Virginia Mountaineers. The sophomore right-hander picked up the win in an eight to nothing victory over Kansas. With eight innings pitched, he gave up one hit, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out 12. The performance also garnered national attention. The Big East Conference selected Keith Rogola of the Creighton Blue Jays. The junior right-hander pitched a complete game, 5-1 to one victory against the number 14 ranked St. John's. With nine innings pitched, he gave up five hits, one air run, no walks, and he struck out eight. The Big South Conference selected Hayden Deal of the Presbyterian College Blue Hose. The senior left-hander pitched a complete game, 3-1 victory against Winthrop with nine innings pitched to give up one hit, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out seven. The Big West Conference selected Connor Siebel of the Cal State Fullerton Titans. The junior right-hander pitched a complete game, six to nothing shutout against UC Davis. With nine innings pitched, he gave up three hits, no earned runs, one walk, and he struck out 11. He also earned the award opening week. The Colonial Athletic Comp Association uh, selected two players, Alex Royalty of the North Carolina Wilmington Seahawks and Brandon Walter of the Delaware Blue Hens. Soft sophomore right-handed Royalty picked up the win in a 3 to nothing victory over North Carolina Central with eight innings pitched. He gave up three hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck up 12. While sophomore left-hander Walter picked up the win in a 2-1 victory over Northeastern with eight innings pitched. He gave up eight hits, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out 11. He had also earned the award in Week 5. Conference USA selected Nate Harris of the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. The senior left-hander picked up the pitch, a complete game 6-0 shutout against Rice. 
Uh, with nine innings pitched, he gave up three hits, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out six. The Horizon League selected Jake Dahlberg of the University of Illinois at Chicago Flames. The senior left-hander picked up the win in a 5-1 victory over Oakland, pitching six in the third innings. He gave up five hits, no earned runs, one walk, and he struck out eight. He had also earned the award in week four. The Ivy League selected Jake Fossand of the Dartmouth Big Red. The junior right-hander picked up the win in a 5-0 victory over Cornell. With seven innings pitched, he gave up one hit, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out two. The Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference selected Kyle Ajan of the Monmouth Hawks. The sophomore left-hander pitched a complete game, 11 to nothing shutout against Siena College. With seven innings pitched, he gave up two hits, no earned runs, three walks, and he struck out seven. Uh, just a reminder, you can have a complete game when it is a mercy rule game or sometimes if it's a doubleheader and they predetermine one of the games the doubleheader is going to go seven innings. Okay, uh, the Mid-American Conference always selects two players and they selected Colton Bradley of the Central Michigan Chippewas and Brent Cleland of the Buffalo Bulls. Bradley is a junior right-hander representing the West Division. He made four appearances out of the bullpen, earning three saves with one against Oakland and two against Ohio. His combi combined pitching line showed three and two-thirds innings pitched while giving up two hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out four. Cleland is a junior right-hander representing the East Division. He picked up the win in a 3-1 victory over Northern Illinois with Eight innings pitched, he gave up five hits, one earned run, three walks, and he struck out three. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference selected Tyler Norris of the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. The junior right-hander pitched a no-hitter and a one to nothing victory over Savannah State. With seven innings pitched, he gave up no hits, no earned runs, walked two, and he struck out five. The performance also garnered national attention. He had also earned the award in the opening week. The Missouri Valley Conference selected Jordan Knutson of the Missouri State Bears. The senior left-hander picked up the win in a 5-1 victory over Dallas Baptist. With eight innings pitched, he gave up two hits, one earned run, two walks, and he struck out 13. The performance also garnered national attention. The Mountain West Conference selected Matt Brown of the San Jose State Spartans. The junior right-hander picked up the win in a 2-1 victory over New Mexico. With seven innings pitched, he gave up one hit, one earned run, and, uh, five walks, and he struck out six. Northeastern, the Northeastern Conference selected James Karen, Karinchak, James Karinchak of the Bryant Bulldogs. The junior right-hander complete pitched a complete game, one to nothing shutout against Wagner. With seven innings pitched, he gave up. One hit, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out 11, and the performance also garnered national attention. The Ohio Valley Conference selected Derek Adams of the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. The junior left-hander picked up a win in a 7-2 victory over Tennessee Tech. The had eight innings pitched, giving up eight hits, one earned run, no walks, and he struck out 10. The Pacific 12 Conference selected Jake Mulholland of the Oregon State Beavers. The freshman left-hander made three appearances out of the bullpen and earned a save against Portland and a win against Utah. His com combined pitching line was 10 and two-thirds innings pitched, giving up five hits, two earned runs, three walks, and he struck out nine. The Patriot League selected Connor Donovan of the Lehigh Mountain Hawks. The senior right-hander pitched a complete game to the nothing shutout against Holy Cross. With seven innings pitched, he gave up four hits, no earned runs, a walk, and he struck out seven. He had also earned the award in week six. The Southeastern Conference selected Eric Walker of the LSU Tigers. The freshman left-hander pitched a complete game to the nothing shutout against 14th ranked Arkansas. With nine innings pitched, he gave up four hits, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out four. The Southern Conference selected Ryan Askew of the Mercer Bears. 
The senior right-hander pitched a complete game, 42 victory over Samford with nine innings pitched to give up nine hits, two earned runs, no walks, and he struck out seven. The Southland Conference selected Chris Cooper of the Tennessee a and or excuse me, the Texas A&M Corpus Christi Islanders. The junior right-hander picked up the win against UTSA, that's Texas San Antonio, in a three-inning three patchwork start, and he also earned two saves against Southeast Louisiana out of the bullpen. His combined pitching line was seven and one-third innings pitched, given up two hits, no red runs, one walk, and he struck out the 11. The Southwestern Conference selected Jonathan Aponte of the Jackson State Tigers. The senior right-hander pitched a complete game, 9-2 victory over Mississippi Valley. With nine innings pitched, he gave up eight hits, two earned runs, two walks, and he struck out six. He'd also earned the award in week two. The Summit League selected Ethan Kenkel of the San, excuse me, of the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. The senior right-hander Picked up the win in a 1-0 victory against North Dakota State with six innings pitched. He gave up two hits, no earned runs, three walks, and he struck out six. The South Belt Conference selected Thomas Houston of the South Alabama Jaguars. The senior left-hander pitched a complete game, 4-1 victory over Louisiana Monroe with nine innings pitched. He gave up seven hits, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out nine. The West Coast Conference selected Ken Waldenchuk of the St. Mary's Gales. The junior right-hander made two appearances out of the bullpen, getting an out against Nevada, and then picking up the win in a 14-inning 2-1 victory against San Francisco. The com his combined pitching line was five and one-thirds innings pitched. He given up two hits, no run runs, no walks, and he struck out nine. And the Western Athletic Conference selected Jake Mayer of the Utah Valley Wolverines. The junior right-hander pitched a complete game, five to nothing shutout against Incarnate Word, with nine innings pitched to give up three hits, no earned runs, one walk, and he struck out seven. And as always, you can find each of these players individually on my baseball blog, Baseball Be Love. Until next time, this is John Bolander.